Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today, and I personally believe that Fallout 76's Atomic Shop is starting to get out of hand. Now, before all of this, I had actually made a full breakdown slash analysis of the Fallout 76 Atomic Shop, highlighting how many atoms you can earn per week through challenges, as well as the price points for items in the store and packages of atoms. Pretty much, I thought that the system needed work, especially in the pricing area, but that it could create a good ecosystem for Fallout 76, keeping a lot of players engaged if you could really earn a decent amount of atoms through the gameplay. Now, the math I had done equaled out to 570 atoms a week. The first happening, which sparked a discussion on the Atomic Shop, taking a step in the wrong direction was the inclusion of a limited time cosmetic, the Daredevil skin, for 1,600 atoms. Now, do keep in mind that every 100 atoms in Fallout 76's Atomic Shop is a single dollar, so Bethesda is charging $16 for the Daredevil skin. Personally for me, after 70 hours with the game, I had 1800 atoms. Now, I did spend a couple of hundred atoms during the beta period with my character, so just over 2000 atoms in 70 hours, it's not feasible to be able to acquire that many atoms in two days. There's just not enough hours to have that completely done. I decided to give it a fair shake and test a fan theory that I heard out there where if you load up a new character, you can actually start redoing some of the challenges, which then in turn will allow you to earn more atoms. So maybe there is a way to fairly farm some of the atoms. Granted, it would take more work, but at least you wouldn't have to spend any of your hard-earned cash. And upon loading a brand new character, I checked the challenge menu and no dice. It is shared across the entire account, so you can't simply load in a new character and start grinding for more challenges, hoping to earn atoms. Pretty much, if you spent any atoms during your foray in Fallout 76, you're probably going to be spending your actual money on this, which is part of the gig, right? Bethesda wants to fuel the free DLC and updates coming to Fallout 76. Now, not everyone's going to consider this a huge deal or this shot predatory, and I don't feel everyone's going to share my point of view on this, but I still think it requires a discussion as we move forward into it, because Fallout 76 reuses so many of Fallout 4's assets to a borderline insulting amount in the base game that I found myself puzzled how Bethesda could feel okay with their decision in charging us for some of this stuff. So Juicehead had actually taken one for the team, and he bought some of these items from the Atomic Shop, like the Wild Man rags, greaser jean and jackets, red rocket jumpsuit, and the rocket suit, comparing them to the Fallout 4 counterparts. And as you can see, for all of them, aside from some increased saturation in the rocket suit and some uplifting for the greaser jean and jackets, overall, these are pretty much identical. And Bethesda wants to charge you real money for this because, once again, I highlight there comes a point in the life cycle of Fallout 76 where you really don't earn atoms at all, and about $5 worth of atoms per week can only get you so far. This is an issue that did begin with Fallout 4 and Skyrim's Creation Club where Bethesda started taking weapons from older titles and tossing them into the current ones even if they were already available via modding. So I can't say I'm too taken back by this, I don't think there's much of a shock factor tied to this, but some of the price points like the Nuka World Rocket Suit being 12 dollars. What is enticing about that? Bethesda is really sticking to their game plan between these limited items and the price points of the Atomic Shop. When it comes to all this, refusing to really budge on their price points when I think a lot more players would be engaged if they knew they could hop into the world, earn a lot of atoms, and start earning items because they'd played the game. I fully get their cosmetic, but once again, I must emphasize that I just feel these prices are egregious and nobody should settle for them. Even if you like the game, I respect it, I get it, but I don't think you should be paying $12 out of pocket for something that's coming from Fallout 4, especially when we see so many reused assets in 76 that are already there. So Bethesda is charging you for apparel that's already been made, that's already in game, that I'm sure modders, if available, could actually port them over for free. So don't spend your money on this. And I just really needed to highlight something that is getting completely out of hand very quickly and probably flying under the radar of a lot of larger issues happening over at Bethesda, like, of course, the power armor bag. 
poor reviews, the discussion on game mechanics. I feel like the microtransactions are coming second, but like I said, Bethesda's moving forward kind of under the radar, making some moves to force consumers to maybe spend some money. I get limited time offers, but I personally feel this Atomic Shop's going in a negative direction. I think this could actually be a positive addition to the game if Bethesda made fun weekly items with challenges tied to them that if you complete them, you can unlock them. Yes, it would take some work, but at least you wouldn't have to spend the money. Now, of course, it's worth mentioning the obvious. Bethesda is absolutely a business. I don't expect them to give everything away for free. That's just not simply how the world works. So I do hope anyone who listened this far along does understand. I don't believe that. But on the other hand, I think there is a absolute happy medium that can be achieved with these microtransaction shops to give folks the option to, yeah, I'll spend my money. I don't really feel like grinding for it. Versus people who say, you know what? I don't have the money right now. I really want this Daredevil skin or I really want these Red Rocket jumpsuits. I'm going to put in the work with these challenges and get that done. Do keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that there are some items from the Atomic Shop that you can acquire just by exploring the open world of Fallout 76. I do wish Bethesda put a bit of a disclaimer in the store letting you know that, but I digress. Digress. It's interesting because my biggest issue is really the pricing point of these items because we're seeing a asset from Nuka World be put into Fallout 76 for example for $12 but at least in the Creation Club which is something I was very outspoken about there were some new assets there aside from for example the prototype Gauss rifle which is a new asset but there was the Gauss rifle in Fallout 4 but you'll have stuff like the Doom BFG or a mix of universes with Skyrim being put into Fallout 4 once again a reuse of an asset but a mixture of universes something a little more fun and priced at 300 creation club credits where even though the bare minimum you can spend in this store is eight dollars at least you can get multiple items a slight bit more bang for your buck and that's pretty bad when your new microtransaction store is painting the old one which was also awful and is still awful in a much more bright light I think a big issue that Bethesda may be able to adjust is just that the daily atoms don't offer you enough to really entice you to sign in every day. It's more so the weekly value tied in with maybe an increased daily value that might pull some more folks in and get them working to get some of these items. Because also what's happening is, for those of us who've been playing BGS games for a very long time, we recall entering those caves in Skyrim, those caves in Oblivion, finding the unique weapon or piece of armor at the end of a deep, dark dungeon the atomic shop is stripping away a lot of the engaging stories coupled with enticing rewards like these prior bgs titles and so i think a way to maybe just not fully get rid of it give us something to work towards that gameplay loop is to allow us to really earn some decent atoms not just chump change through the daily and weekly challenges which then we can in turn put into the shop. I don't want folks thinking I'm making a problem out of nothing because I really do feel like not everyone's going to share my point of view on it since it is just a optional cosmetic system, but I still think that we should fight for better prices and better services within a title we're paying $60 for. I think there absolutely is the option for us to earn more atoms if we show Bethesda that's what we want. Now, perhaps you don't have as many discrepancies as I do with the pricing scheme within the Atomic Shop, but I think there is certainly a good argument to be made that there is room for improvement here. For example, I'd love to see the addition of a preview button, something as simple as that, so before I spend my hard-earned atoms, I can see the cosmetic on my character or more importantly I think for the emotes instead of seeing just a freeze frame of kind of what the emote is like I can actually see it in motion before I go ahead and purchase it something like that should absolutely be available day and date it's sad that it's really not there at this point in time now I also get a bit of the trade-off because I looped in creation club to this discussion we have a bit of a trade-off here we don't want weapons being added through the atomic shop because we don't want to have balance issues and pay to win issues when Bethesda inevitably adds pvp because maybe some of those guns they add through the hypothetical atomic shop are actually going to be way better than guns that people are actually earning in game for free rather than paying for i get all that so bethesda becomes a tad handcuffed because now they're limited to cosmetics which is why i think if they put a fair pricing scheme in place where i would actually be maybe encouraged to spend my money where i feel like hey you know this system's so good that i'm gonna put some money down like i'll be the first to admit that with fallout shelter i thought the system worked so well with the lunch boxes and whatnot at launch that i ended up throwing five dollars at the game granted it was free whole different scenario there but i've always been a proponent of i'm not a huge fan of microtransactions 
transactions. But if your system is fair, if it works, and if I enjoy the game and I'm getting it that way, I kind of allow myself at times to, you know, just indulge a little bit, eh, $5, whatever. But it's really up to the community entirely and they will speak with their wallets and with their voices online. But anyway, this is just a discussion I really wanted to have on the channel. Big thanks to Juice Head for taking one for the team, getting some of those Atomic Shop items, and doing a comparison so that we could see things side by side and really highlight what I think is a growing issue that will only be replicated in the future if we don't start speaking out now. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this in the comments down below. Do fire away, ladies and gentlemen. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.